everybody. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How are you doing on this Sunday afternoon? I pray that you are having a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Now I got to tell you, I haven't done much resting, but I'm going to rest and I'm going to stop today. Amen. Amen. Get myself together in just about an hour or so. And I'm resting. But I pray that you have a wonderful weekend. And yes, tomorrow may be a beach day for me. Um, and I pray that you will enjoy your Labor Day weekend as well. We are in the 22nd week of Ordinary Time. Okay, it's a new season upon us. Some of the kids are back to school already. Some of them are on their way. And uh, teachers in service. I had an in service yesterday. It was a wonderful experience. Um, and so we're, we're making our preparations for our new season. Amen. Amen. Come on, someone that hit somebody's spirit. Make your preparation for your new season. Amen. Amen. Get ready, get ready, get ready, right? <laughs> ah, as the bishop used to say. Uh, but we're get, getting ready and making the preparations for our new season. On that note, I am going to read the first reading in today's lectionary reading. It's not something that we normally preach from, and we don't hear it read a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and read it uh, and draw some applications for it from it and uh, and see how we do, right? We'll, we'll well, we will find a way to rest and stop in this word and appreciate this beautiful, beautiful poem from the Song of Solomon, the second chapter, verses 8 through 13. Amen? Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verses 8 through 13. I'm going to pull up just a little bit. Let me pull up just a little bit. Amen? All right. Okay, when you have the word of God, say amen. Amen. All right, the word of God reads thusly. The voice of my beloved. Look, he comes leaping upon the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he stands behind our wall, gazing in at the windows, looking through the lattice. My beloved speaks and says to me, arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth. The time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, so here we have the Song of Solomon. Ah, it is clearly, literally, a poem about love between a man and a woman, right? It is a deep love that they share. And we hear the voice, the woman in the beginning, and then we hear the voice of her, her beloved, her, 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 her love. Isn't it wonderful when your voice is heard? But we, we hear the type of love that they have for one another. And um, so here we have this poem of love, deep love intimate love, about relationships. Now, some believe that this was an allegory written uh, about um, God and Israel, the love between God and Israel, and then also the love between um, Jesus Christ and his church. Some believe that uh, there were there was some controversy over whether or not this should be a part of the canon. God's holy writ, but it is nonetheless a part of it because I think it's important for us to understand love and, and the deep um, pathways to it and, and where it brings us and how it even settles us, how, how it gives us hope even and how it gives us 
joy and how it gives us uh um dare i say new life when a new love comes in you feel fresh wind freshness and and some people even those whom they've loved for years and years and they've been married for years and years when that person comes into the room, it's like a fresh home, a breath of fresh air. And there their hearts begin to leap again and the butterflies begin to flutter again. That is deep and beautiful love, not to be hidden. That is healthy love. And I think that this is what we find in this text, a love that is exciting, love that is new. <laughs> yeah, you've heard it before. You've heard that love, exciting and new. You've heard it before. But I, I think that um, what other observation I, I bring out of this text is this new season, right? It's love that's, that's, that's in blossom also as this new season is in blossom and in bloom. And many of us are heading into a new season. It's a new fall season, really, upon us because uh, when we think of back to school, we think of fall, fall activities. So we've got a back to school season. Uh, those of us who work in the media, um, there, there are new premieres and new things happening, new, new, new seasons even in sports and all kinds of things that are, it's new, new, new. And what I want to say from this text is don't be afraid to open yourself up to experience the new. And don't be afraid to open yourself up to experience this type of love, a love that is pure. <laughs> Dare I say it again? A love that's exciting and new. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So sit with the word, but get ready for your new season. Prepare for it. Let's prepare for our new season. And let's thank God for it. Let's thank God for relationships that we have with people because even in this new season, we, we can make some new connections. Let's make some new connections with people. And, and let's let's reignite something from those old connections as well. Let's let's show people that um we can be in good relation with them. I I, I read somewhere in some one of the commentaries where they said that yes, this could be allegorical, but but even the more it's about good relations. So let's make some good relationships. Doesn't have to be romantic relationships to be good. So let's make some good relationships. Let's get ready for our new season. Let's just thank God for the love that he pours into us and how we can be a vessel to even show forth his love to the people that we come in contact, in contact with on a daily. Is that good? Is that good for you? Yeah. All right. All right, so let's let's think about our new season and um and we're gonna rest and we're gonna stop together and we're gonna thank God for all the good things that He is doing for us. We thank Him for for keeping us over the summer. Um, but now these new opportunities that are coming our way, the new students that are coming into our classrooms, um, even the new teaching methods that we may learn and we may use. Um, and when I say we, I, I do teach. I teach in an art school, and then I also teach um, in a seminary. So, uh, so yeah, it's a we for me. Um, and then for students, for those of you who are not teaching, for students, come on, let's open ourselves up for new new ways of learning, new experiences, and new opportunities to to be kind to one another. Okay. All right. All right. Healthy relationships. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's rest this up. Wonderful God, beautiful Savior. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for your lavish love. Hallelujah. Thank you for the presence of your spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We're just grateful for new opportunities and new ways, uh, Lord. And we ask, Father, that as we move into this new season, uh, that you would help us to open ourselves up to these types of good and healthy relationships, one with another, and then Lord, a relationship that's healthy with you. Uh huh. We'll, we'll move it. We'll lean into the allegorical. 
Yeah, the the relationship between Christ and His Church, and even the relationship, uh, Lord God, um, uh, Yahweh, um, that You have uh, over all of Your creation. We are so grateful to be a part of this, uh, of Your creation. We're we're so grateful that You love us in these, in these ways that, that sometimes can be uncomfortable, but ways that move us to self discovery even. Um, when we open ourselves up in in these in these manners, so Father, uh, we thank you. We praise you. We thank you for this for this poem. We thank you, Lord, for to see this type of love between a man and a woman, Lord, that is pure, that is just beautiful, and um, and Father, uh, that that they sh they share. This, this mutual longing for connection with one another. That's beautiful. We all long to connect with each other and we, we do long to connect with you, Lord. So we thank you, we praise you for, for every opportunity that you give us to know you on a deeper level, to know ourselves even on a deeper level. And Lord, to know that the, those that we come into contact with in new and different ways. Thank you for all that you give to us. We give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, my friends, this is the 22nd week of Ordinary Time. Enjoy your Labor Day. And I will see you at the very next rest stop. All right, bye. Have a beautiful day. Bye.